You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. What? What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. Only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Practical and sporty, don't you think? He's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! Come on, Mr. Big Man! Emotia! <laughs> You're fucking dead! Uh. 
fuck? Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. Of all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more, the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual? We got to do this the smart way. All right? know where to find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Is your fucking membership fee. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you're at it? You right down. Down. Get the ass off the They hold up. Takoyla! Watch out! I'm out! They shoot! This is for Henry, you bastards! <laughs> Come on, Vito! Let's move up! Get the guy on the stairs! Up there, in a window! Come on, Vito! 
Give up and now. Where the fuck button. are they all coming from? Must be a tunnel to China oh, right now. Oh, what? What? You come with the wrong guy. Get here. We up and go. One more, and we're done. Say good night, Charlie Chan. Come on, Vito, move for Christ's sake. <laughs> Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Oh, they don't do color. Come on. Who taught you assholes how to shoot? Where the hell is that prick? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. The fuck is all oh. keep on coming. How many more they got back there? Don't matter, I got plenty of bullets. Come on, you little fucks! Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Ah. Are you deaf for what? I said we should be quiet. Not going in. Oh, done. Come on, Vito. Waste them all. I'm back! Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Going to be dog meat.
All right, that was the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Oh, yeah? Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What?! Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room! If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Copy that. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my Requesting place, would you? All right. What are you trying to kill us? Come on, we're still alive, huh?
only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. It was a... This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlo sent us, that'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning, we'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready, you just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna oh, drive oh, there, oh. pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They are afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture. What this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got to come. But wait, if he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? We've been here for years. We're getting paid a few grand for the job, so it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other one. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. 
Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. to say? Yeah. All right. Here we go then. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, this is a Don't we can build. Those guys over there. Shit! Down no, no. Let's get the fuck we out got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. Roger that. Police support in Greenfield. Hell, goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. And he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details. Maybe you didn't know. No matter now, we got a loser. Tell me what you need, sir. No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business.
Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. In the market for something special, I have just the thing. Fits you perfect. It was a pleasure. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. 
Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. Uh, know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, nah, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did, John. now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletta's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. Why were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Come out shut. Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. So we shouldn't be doing this. We don't go, Vito. We got your back.
You're gonna die here, Vito! Just like the clock! the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey Vito, we can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Can I help you? Boy, what I got more bullets than you. Ah. Please, sir, we don't allow- Get- Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Roger that. Get out of there.
four. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Roger that. Leave now! That gun outside if I were you. Use extreme caution. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. was that thing right now copy that officer down officer down shoot this asshole oh, he's gonna kill us all. 10 -4.
Possible Grand Theft Auto. 10-4. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why So you don't know anything about it. Well, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his head to the ground. Let's try Giuseppe next.
He keeps his ears around. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Good afternoon. Ciao, ragazzi. 